one that still works in brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Well today we are going to get a barrel. We got a brand spanking new barrel. We're going to get a barrel ready to fill and we're going to fill that barrel with said seven root uh, bourbon. This is going to be interesting. Okay, with a little bit of magic I got me a brand new nice shiny barrel. What are we going to do with this? It's going to get filled for root, uh, seven root bourbon. Yeah. Okay, but we got to do a little bit of prep work first. So it's a few days before uh, distilling day. So when you get a brand new barrel, most likely it's going to leak. Okay, so we got to get it prepped up. All right, so let's get ready to get started with that. Let me move down. Okay, so the first part of the prep, I mean, this is a brand new barrel out of the box. I got some tape on the holes. Let me get rid of that. Okay, it, it will have a lot of junk inside, but we're not going to worry about that for, at this second. Okay, next thing we got a package here with a valve and a bung in it. So let's get them out. Alright, so the very first thing we're going to do, we got to put the, uh, the uh, bug in the hole. Now, one thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to tap on that very lightly. I don't want to, that should be good enough. So I just wanted to tap on it very lightly just to make sure it's seated in. And we got a stand for it. And we're going to set it in the stand. Just like so. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to swell this wood back up. Yeah. So. Got me a nice little funnel. Hopefully, yep, it fits in the hole. And we're just going to put water in it for right now. And if you notice, I got a, a cookie sheet here. Like I said, I know it's going to leak. Hopefully not too awful bad. Well, if I turn the valve off, all right? So we're going to fill it up. It's supposed to be for one gallon. And I got one gallon jug here, so we'll see how much it'll hold. Because if I ain't mistaken, the way they figure these barrels is it's how much water it displaces if you put it in like a you know thing of water. I think that's what it is. So if you have a a gallon jug or, or a gallon barrel, I don't think it will hold a gallon. Uh, I see a couple leaks so far. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to pour this back out. And then what I want to do is I want to fill full of hot water. Okay, it looks to me like I got one leak back here on the uh, so far. That's all I got. Is one leak back here on the back end plate. Okay, so I'm gonna get some water heating up, and then uh, we'll empty this out. And refill it full of warm water. Okay, so what I did is I dumped out, it was leaking right here on the bottom, not just a drip. Uh, I emptied that water out just to help flush the you know, stuff from when they made the barrel and, and excess char. 
dump that water out now. I'm starting to put in some good warm water. I mean, it's not boiling, but good warm water. And it's just about stopped. And we're only talking 15 minutes. Now, they did say that it could leak up to a week. Yeah. So, what I will do now is I'll finish, I'm heating a little bit more water up to finish filling it up. And I'll end up taking it in the house and put it on the counter on this tray. So I can just keep an eye on it. And just, if it leaks a little bit too much, or a little bit more out, I'll just keep it, make sure it's kept full. And then uh, the only thing we got left to do then is rinse it out a few times. Hey, and we're going to get ready to uh, fill this up. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm just wiping the excess water that I spilt on the outside. Because I did. I mean, it's got a little seep on the front and one little seep in the back. But I don't think it'll go away once it, all that wood swells up. Alrighty. So that's all there is to get our barrel ready. And uh, I'm really looking forward. I did check my Seven Roots uh, mash. I just got done checking it. It's fermented out dry. So uh, it'll be ready to go. I'm going to let it finish settling out. So this weekend it's going to be ready to go. We're going to distill that out. And then we're going to uh, go for the barrel. Okay? All right. I'll see you in a few days. Okay. With the help of Beard and Board's Liquor Fairy, he's going to help us make this happen. Okay. Beard and Liquor Fairy really helped us out. Look at this. All right. So let's check our cuts out of our Seven Roots bourbon. First, we got rid of the uh, first, oh, what was it, 200 milliliters. We're going to go ahead and get rid of them. So now, let's start here in the middle, and we're going to give them some taste, and we're going to decide on what we're going to keep. Okay? So, right here in the middle. Ah, delicious. Ooh, this is going to be good. All right, so let's go downhill first. I'm gonna skip a cup. Well, let's try each one. Mm, still delicious. Got a nice flavor to it. Uh, I can tell the proof is uh, going away. Mm, still good. This last one, I, cause I was tasting everything as a. Well, the liquor fairy was tasting everything was coming off the still. This last one, I think it's going to be out of the pitcher. Uh, you know, it, my theory is if it tastes good, let's use it. So let's go on up. And it's funny how each jar will taste different. But boy, is it getting hotter as we go up. Woo! Okay. And I got a funny feeling this very first jar, because I only collected a half a jar. I, not me. Ooh. All right. So what I am not going to keep is that first one and that very last one. Um... I guess we all want to know what to, let's check it out and see what kind of ABV we're talking about. This first one that we're going to keep, uh, it's at uh, 70%, so that's, that sounds good. And the last one we're going to keep is... Uh, about 45 percent okay all right so what we're going to do is we're going to mix these together in our mixing jar
Okay. It looks like we're going to have enough to fill that barrel. See what kind, what we got percent wise. We are looking at 55%. Okay, so it's about 100 proof. No, 110 proof, I'm sorry. So you know what I'm going to do? I am not going to cut this down at all. Uh, so I think that'd be pretty good going to the barrel. Alright. Okay, what we ended up doing with the barrel, uh, like I said before, is you know we put water in it, we got it to stop leaking. Uh, it took a couple, it only took about, I think it was like 15 to 20 minutes and it stopped leaking. But it, we had water in it for, um, I think it was three or four days. Okay, so now, let me grab my funnel and we're going to put this 110 in there. Alright, so we got our barrel set up here, valve closed. And what I did is I rinsed it out three more times to make sure there was no loose particles or char inside. So let's put in our seven roots and see if I can do it without spilling it. Okay. It's right about there. Perfect. Okay. All right, so our barrel's full. So if you if you like what you see and you feel inclined, please hit that subscribe button. It is really appreciated. So in closing. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to put this barrel in our fermentation room because it's kind of a controlled temperature. Um, and what we'll do is we'll check it from time to time and uh, see how it's making out. And I'll, and I'll let you know. So, um, well, that's about it. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.